to all of you here in Beijing. Uh, I guess good afternoon and good morning to some of those who are on a different time zone. I know that uh, we haven't gotten much sleep last night, several of us who travel from India. But uh, hopefully this evening session will uh, energize you and we've kept it uh, short and we have two or three very high quality speakers with us who will keep us on our toes. I particularly want to welcome all of you to this edition of the CTO Forum, especially because it is the 10th one, uh, the second one only that I've been associated with, but I know that several of you have been associated with many more of these. Uh, so, you know, that the fact that we mention that we always measure things in terms of milestones, the fact that this is a 10th year is, is a big achievement. Uh, and so I think Are there people here who have attended all 10? Anybody? 9? 8? 1 person? 7? <laughs> the organizers are not uh, allowed to <laughs> raise their hand. 6? 5? Oh, quite a few 5s. 4? Oh, that's, that's, I guess. Who all were here last year? That's about half the group. Well, thanks for coming back. I, for those of you who were not there last year, uh, you missed a class 8 typhoon. Uh, and the fact that we were all on boats going across Macau to Hong Kong in the South China Sea in the middle of a massive typhoon. Uh, which is why the big consideration this year was to pick a place which did not have any possibility of natural disasters. <laughs> uh, we tried to get as many of you here on direct flights, so I hope uh, that was also achieved because we ended up, some of us ended up taking three, four flights back home last year. Uh, anyway, right to get on with the program, uh, we have a uh, exciting three days ahead. You've all got the agenda, so I will not repeat. The only thing I will say is that. Uh, you know, when we, when we started this conference or took over this conference last year, we were very focused on the fact that we did want to be different uh, from a lot of these conferences. And so we started to bring in outside speakers. Uh, last year, some of you will remember that uh, Michael Weber uh, actually led the session uh, off. Uh, and the response to that was so overwhelming. It was. In the feedback sessions, it turned out that people thought that it was the best session of the entire conference. Uh, not the sessions on storage and green and networking and, and IT, but really the first session which was about observation and leadership uh, and personal uh, transformation stuff. So in keeping with that, uh, we've come up this year with a even broader agenda of speakers who will talk to you about things other than enterprise technology. There will be, of course, a lot of enterprise technology. Uh, Neil Peterson is here. Uh, he will uh, be kicking off in a few minutes. Uh, we have Chris Curran, uh, who's here from the US. Uh, I'll tell you how we met Chris, and it's relevant to the session that uh, he's going to do tomorrow morning. We have Ashish Rajpal here from I Discover I. Ashish is, a, uh, is an educationist, uh, but uh, also a, a leadership coach and trainer. Uh, and he has an interesting role over the next three, four days. Several of you have signed up to have him be an executive coach to you. Uh, and we have Mr. Homi Khusro Khan, who is the former MD of Tata Chemicals uh, and several other companies, who is going to talk about uh, the, the CIO's role beyond uh, the role of just managing information technology in the company. So we have a rich set of speakers this year. Uh, I particularly would also like to welcome what uh, we started last year again as a new thing, which is to invite spouses. I see several of you here. Uh, I think this year we've got a slightly larger number. Uh, and I'm so happy that you're all here and that you'll hopefully get to sem spend some time with your spouses here and also get to enjoy the city. Uh, with that, I'd like to also finally thank all our sponsors. Uh, and in particular, uh, introduce uh, Sanjay Gupta uh, of Avaya, 
who is the Area Sales Vice President of Avaya India and responsible for Avaya's businesses in India. Uh, he has spent almost 15 years at Avaya in various roles as sales, channel, operations and high touch. Uh, before that, uh, Sanjay was uh, with Avaya Global Connect, uh, Tata Telecom uh, and Business India Infotech. He's a electronics and communications engineer from Mysore University and holds an MBA from Mumbai University. Sanjay was with us last year amongst all the adventures in Macau. Uh, I'd, I'd just like to invite you to come up and also welcome our guests. 